Can I tell you? You see, when your words line up with the word of God, something supernatural happens. Something supernatural is released. As the word of God came out of my mouth, faith came into the atmosphere. It was supernatural. The people jumped up to their feet and threw their hands up in the air and started worshiping God. It was like an electricity filled the room. Worship band kept going. People now were worshiping. I was like, wow, that just changed the whole atmosphere. And I was so wanting the people to know when God showed up that, you know, there were fans blowing on the ceiling and air, air conditioning. And I turned to the ushers. I said, shut the air off. Shut the fans off. Shut it all off. Because when the Holy Spirit moves in this room, I want you to know it's him and not the fan blowing over your head. Because if you're around, you know, you know, if you're around charismania long enough, <laughs> you know, you'll worship me like, oh, I feel the wind of God. And you open up your eyes and it's the fan blowing over your head. Like, I feel, I feel the wind. So I wanted people to know it's the Holy Spirit and not the van. So, I mean, we shut everything down and we were worshiping God and it's five minutes to nine. And my eyes are closed and I'm, we're worshiping. And I looked down at my watch. I said, Jesus, you better show up here at nine o'clock. <laughs> oh, you make a big announcement like that. I mean, something better happen. So, anyway, I was very, very happy. At 9 o'clock, a wind, a tangible wind blew through the room, like a warm breeze. You could feel it blowing over the people. Some people felt fire come over their bodies. I mean, people started screaming out, ah, as the power of God moved on them in the service. Within 15 minutes, no one laid hands on anyone. Holy Spirit moved. Miracles broke out. And I said, if God just healed you, get up to the front right now. People ran up to the front from one wall all the way to the other, shoulder to shoulder, standing there, lined up, healed, instantly healed by the power of God. I mean, major healings. One lady, 25 years, fibromyalgia in her body, pain, constant pain in every part of her body, totally healed that night. I mean, major significant healings like MS and fibromyalgia and all these different types of illnesses. And I went home that night and I said, God. I said, what if I just went with program? What if I just did what I always know to do? I could have totally missed that whole healing wave. And all those people would have left that church still sick. And I realized something that night. I realized that my obedience to God was very important. My obedience to him and being willing to step out of the box and do something differently than how it's been done before. See, we partner with heaven. We partner with God's power. We do, and, and people might not always understand it. The Holy Spirit's like the wind. And when you like the, you know, the wind, you don't know where it comes from or where it goes, but you see the effects of it. That's what the Holy Spirit is like. And when you're moving in the Holy Spirit, that's what you'll be like. No one will know where you're coming from, and they will not know where you're going. <laughs> but you are moving. Something is happening. They might not understand it, but something is happening. <laughs> Look, most of what God does, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. I just try to flow with the wind. Wherever he moves, I want to move. Praise God. You never quite know what direction the wind's going to blow in. I'm just honest. Sometimes a miracle wind blows through. Sometimes a deliverance wind. Sometimes a revival wind. Sometimes a prophetic wind. You never quite know what's going to happen. It's fun when the deliverance wind hits a room. <laughs> when you least expect it. Demons everywhere. Hallelujah. 
<laughs> in church? What? Demons in church? Yeah, they come in with the people. It's true, they do. I was in a service, and I'll, I'll, I'll close with this story. But it's, we partner with God, right? And He partners with us. We just work together. So, deliverance wind hit a room. The head intercessor of the church. I'll never forget it. You know, some images get burned in your mind. You just will never forget it. I'll never forget it. <laughs> it's that intercessive, cute little lady. Comes up from the front row to worship God at the altar, all happy. She's like. <laughs> and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, her eyes start rolling back in her head and her tongue starts coming out like a snake. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> and this snake demon starts manifesting there. I'm like, oh, Lord Jesus. And then the worship leader. His eyes start rolling back in his head. And then the sound guy, a demon starts coming out of him. And I'm like, oh, Lord Jesus. I'm probably never going to be invited back to this church again. <laughs> look, look, when the head intercessor, worship leader, and sound guy all start manifesting demons, it's not necessarily a good sign. First, I was like, Pastor, why are you putting this lady as the head intercessor of your church? So I go to the pastor after. I'm like, Pastor, that was some service. <laughs> What'd you think about that? He's like, Matt, I thought it was great. I'm like, really? Yeah, I've been trying to get rid of those things for years. <laughs> That's what he said. I was like, oh, good. But I learned something. A pastor's job is way easier when his sheep get rid of their bugs. <laughs> Makes the pastor's life way easier. I think every Christian at one point in their life should at least have one demon cast out. Okay, so if you have not had one cast out yet, tonight is your night. Not a problem, not a problem. Have you wondered why some people are anointed and others just aren't? Did you ever think to yourself, why can't God do that for me? As we draw near to God, Scripture promises He will draw near to us. And as we humble ourselves, God will increase the anointing. You never have to plateau in your spiritual growth. The Bible gives keys to continually grow in His presence. In this teaching series, you will learn the purpose of the anointing and how to specifically move in spiritual gifts. You will also learn how to discern the anointing and how to understand the gifts God has given you. For there are many gifts that God chooses to give us. Order, increase your anointing today. A four CD teaching set by Matt Sorger with your love gift of $30 or more. Also available online in MP3 format. Call 1-877-GOD-3131 or visit us at mattsorger.com. Matt Sorger Ministries is growing with you. Lives are being touched every day with the power of Jesus Christ through our mission work around the world in our television program, Power for Life. Your love and support means so much to us. Would you consider becoming a power partner with MSM? For only $30 a month, $1 a day, you will receive a monthly teaching from Matt on CD and MP3 and come under the ministry's prayer cover. You will also receive a 10% discount on all ministry resources and MSM hosted conferences. For $50 a month or more, you will receive an additional benefit, MSM's all-new premium online partner section, where you will have exclusive access to video conference volumes filled with powerful teachings from today's top Christian ministries. To become a monthly MSM Power Partner, please call 631-696-4950 or visit mattsorger.com. Together, we're making a difference in people's lives around the world. Pop!
This program was brought to you by the friends and partners of Matt Sorger Ministries.